So I have a follow-up question. It's still Debo. We just talked about whether they're going to play hardball with him, and we alluded to the question of trading him a little bit. I think, as I said, they certainly considered trading him after 2020. They understood trading him after that season would be silly, trading low. Uh, I right, think especially because may- Ayuk, Ayuk was the one that exactly. was getting all the hype at that time. Yeah, I think it was a consideration. But then out how 2021 played out, things have changed. No one could have predicted this. Do you think at – this point, given what's happened the last 12 months, that they would still consider trading Debo Samuel if he again said, kind of like took a, a DeForest Buckner approach. This is what I'm worth. End of story. Pay it or, or, or trade me. Mm, I, I don't Although think Although Buckner so. said he didn't do that. Buckner said yeah. he didn't do that. Yeah, for the Buckner, yeah. he's been very adamant yeah. that he didn't do that. He, he said, said he, he wanted to. He was willing yeah. to adjust. It was just how much was he going to adjust. And it felt like they weren't willing. I mean, we've the Niners haven't really discussed it since the trade. They thanked him for his service and moved on totally. So yeah. that's just his side of it. But in regards to Debo, here's where, like, you bring this up. Here's where I think it becomes a tad more difficult. I think this year, I, I talked about this on our show last week. You know, what was the thing that was synonymous with the 2021 Niners, right? It was this physical underdog attitude. Yes. But it all started like the image of the 21, 2021 Niners is the boombox guy with Super Gremlin and Debo and Trent Williams leading the yeah. troops right down the locker room or whatever. He became the heart and soul of this football team. This team played how Debo Samuel played. They, yes. f- they, um, they, and that was Kittle in 18 and, and 19 too. That was right. Kittle in, that was Kittle in 18. I, I thought it was so I thought yeah. since week six of Debo Samuel's rookie year, yeah. I thought he's been this guy yeah. and it, it really manifested itself in 2021. And they became the team that goes as Debo Samuel goes. And I, I, I think given the fact that even though Kittle played um 14 games, his production was a little bit more inconsistent as compared to Debo. Um, yes. A lot of teams came to came to a lot of games with game plans to try and stop Debo Samuel the same way they had game plans to stop Kittle. Mm-hmm. Now, some of it had to do with the quarterback, but I just felt like Debo's explosion. Also, Kittle had made, his casting. Right. If he just serious. made a couple more plays yeah. than Kittle. And yeah. I, I know a lot of people love Ayuk. I don't think Ayuk at this point in his career has shown anything where you can 100% feel good. Well, if we trade Debo Samuel, that guy will be the superstar, the number right. one guy on our offense. Every big down, we can just go for, go to him and he's going to make plays. Because, you know, Ayuk might be able to put up production in that point, but he has to be good enough where you're he can take your team to win 11 games, the way Debo Samuel did for the 2021 Niners. And so because of that, I think that his value has um, exacerbated to the point where if you trade him, like, you may never like what he means to the 49ers. You may never recoup value like that for, and he may never be able to deliver like that for another team. Like I think Debo needs the 49ers as much as the 49ers need Debo. It's like a perfect marriage. It's just about finding that number. So you don't think they would consider trading him if he, if he under any circumstances, they, they're like, look, we got you. You're, you're too important to us. No, no, I, 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 I see. Yeah. I looking. Yeah. I, I, I. You're gonna either play, talk, play for what we want, or, or we're gonna tag you. Like one way or another, I mean, you're playing right. The way John Lynch, the way John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan talk, and how open and honest they're about it, I don't think that it, they they take it out of consideration for anybody if it gets True. to that point. It, now, it might like, not be the smartest be there, right? thing to do, but at the same time, if we're if we're gonna just say by definition, would they consider it? I'm sure that they have talked through every single scenario yeah. of this negotiation on how they can put together the best team for 2022. But I think at the same point, they've, they've probably come to the conclusion that he's become so integral to their offense and that they actually do have a lot of leverage over him in the negotiation that unless he really demands the trade and refuses to come to a training camp because he's, you know, upset with your offer, then you keep him at least for a year. Yeah, for least, sure. For sure. Yeah. Uh, and that's where I talked about it last week, right? Yeah. Both yeah. both yeah. sides have huge leverage here. Debo has a huge argument on why he should become, you know, a third 25, 30 million oh, yeah. a year player. Oh, yeah. The Niners also have reasons where you could say, well, they should be nervous and they should hurt again. Yeah. Because you're, you're so important to our offense. What if you get hurting? And I think what they could say is we could get two players who are cheaper than you combined, who would essentially do what you do. Like they could get, you know, maybe they could trade for Saquon, some overpaid running back, Saquon Barkley, Christian McCaffrey, something like that. And then sign someone like Juju Smith-Schuster and say, now we got two guys. I'm not saying that replicates or is as good as Debo, but if you're afraid of Debo getting hurt, now you at least, uh, you know, hedge that bet and 
Now you have two people instead of one. They can both get hurt, though. I'm just saying. Barkley no, no, no. Uh, again, yeah, you're you're going to the furthest hypothetical, right? Yes. You're in the case that the Debo negotiation goes south. The Niners, I mean, it's not even the Niners could do this. The Niners would have to be prepared in that yes. scenario, too.